Hello? Oh, uh, sorry. My husband called from this number recently. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Makayev. Uh, well, you see, your husband left his phone at the ice arena. I'm sorry, and you are? My name is Chloe. I'm the figure skating coach. You know, there was an emergency at the ice arena. If it weren't for your husband, I... I would have been in big trouble. Right. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank me for... For your husband. He's such an amazing person. I'm happy for you. Julia. I'm home. Hello. Hello. I can explain everything. Well, I already know. You do? I dialed the number you called from. A girl answered the phone. That's Chloe. She's the kid's figure skating coach. Mm. Well, a little girl's leg got cut by a skate during practice. Yes, I'm aware. How's the girl? Is she all right? Mm. She's doing fine. That's great. Go and eat. I ate already. Couldn't wait for you. You've known each other long? Who? Well, <clears throat> this woman, Chloe? No, why? It just seemed to me that she's totally into you or something. Please, come on, Julia. When she spoke about you, I noticed even her voice changed. Julia, stop. You're hearing things. Well, guess I must be. Enjoy your meal. Where are you going? I want to lie down. Hey, you. Oh, hi. So did anything new happen? Spoke to your dad? Over the phone. And? I said I wouldn't go home if he wouldn't let me play. That's a good girl, and then? He just hung up on me. What about your mom? What about her? What did your mom say? Nothing as usual. Whatever dad says, she does. I see. You're not like her, that's for sure. And I think I didn't take after dad either. Why's that? He doesn't like hockey. <laughs> that's true. Are you sleeping over at my place again? No, Simon. I made arrangements with a friend. She has a spare bed in her dorm. Okay. You didn't like staying with me. No, it's not that. So what is it? I just can't. It's one thing to stay over for a night, but this time, it's different. Different? Never mind. What will your dad think about me? He won't think anything. He knows you're my girlfriend. Simon. What? I just can't move in with you. Please understand, okay? Okay, I get it. Then why all the questions? Go to your friend, then. Thank you for agreeing. So let's go? Where? Are you sure I'm your girlfriend? Of course. Then I'm the one who should ask that. <sighs> Alex? Hello? You're home early. Yeah, but I'm leaving again. Can you explain exactly what this is? What is that? A court summons with your name on it. That's probably just about Jane's case, Mom. Well, about the accident that happened. Hey, wait a minute. You told me that you only scratched the bumper, that's all. Well, I was in the car next to her, wasn't I? Probably just need to make a statement as a witness. There's nothing to worry about. Alex. Hmm? I drive too. You don't get court summons over bumpers. You remember who Jane's father is, right? That's exactly the thing. What is? That dude is really stubborn. He said that there's corruption everywhere nowadays, so he decided to take this to court. Don't stress about it, okay? I'm gonna be late. Just relax. Hi, Dad. Hey there, son. All by yourself today? You were expecting someone? I don't know. I thought maybe you are helping someone else today. That's not funny. Well, to me it is. Don't be shy, son. If you need me to, I can work late tonight. Maybe till about 6 a.m., okay? Are you done <laughs> making fun of me, Dad? Am I done yet? I haven't even started. All right. That attempt at humor is done. Let's go. You have lots of things to do. What things? Really? Seriously? Vacuum the place, take out the trash, clean the kitchen. Mom's coming back tomorrow. Did you forget? Come on, let's go. I'll give you a broom for starters. Come along, hurry up. Isn't that him? 
Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you Mr. Mikheyev? Yes, that's right. My name is Captain Karrison. You need to come with us right now, sir. If this is about the vehicle, I left it exactly where I found it. Mr. Mikheyev, please, if you would. Captain, can I swing by in about two hours? I have practice right now. Mr. Mikheyev, you pulled a man out from behind the wheel of his own car. What do you mean by practice? Right. One call. I'll let them know that I'll be absent. All right, just be quick. Coach Romanenko. Yes, hello. Hello. Something wrong? Nothing is wrong. Everything's fine. Can you head to the practice without me? I don't understand. What about you? I need to take a leave. It's urgent. What's the matter? Police matters, Mr. Mikheyev. It's time. Okay, let's go. Coach, please don't overwork them. They need to be rested for the game. You got it. Will do. So, police matters, huh? Fun times. <laughs> Looks like it finally caught up with you. So you're telling me this big city prick took the money and just disappeared? I'm just as shocked as you are. The minute that man saw me, he pretended not to know who I was. Is that right? I guess he figured that I am completely done for. It appears so. That's all right. I guess I'll just have to punish him. How? In the worst way ever. I have my ways, but not now. Not now, Nick. I'll do that soon. But he'll crawl back with that money. What if he spent the money? If he spent the money, he'll pay even if he has to sell a kidney. Oh, relax. <laughs> he doesn't have enough kidneys to cover how much he really owes me. He won't spend that money. He'll wait for me to get locked up first. But that's not going to happen. Am I right, partner? Of course not, no. And what are we doing about it? I already explained it to you. Look alive, move it! Why are you acting like little lost children? Is everyone here? Simon's in the restroom. No surprise there. <laughs> okay, today we'll speed up, and we're going to be doing our favorite eights. We'll be using half the rig. Why's that? Make a guess. Match day's coming, you have to keep in shape. Move it, let's hustle! Coach Romanenko. What? Where's head coach? Am I not a coach anymore? I said hustle! Come on, move it! Don't slack off just because Serge isn't here. Excuse me, uh, where's Coach Mikheyev? <laughs> Seriously? Not even a hello? I'm sorry, good afternoon. Hello. Why do you need him? What do you mean? I just do. Yeah, everyone needs the coach. Why is that? Okay, I shouldn't have asked you. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. He's at the police station. Took him straight from practice. They took him? Uh, what's with these kids? Simon! Why are you loafing around? Get your ass to the goalpost! Let's hustle, let's hustle! I don't see any effort! Hurry up, move it, move it! Simon, maybe you heard it wrong? I was right there. Anthony, heard anything? What? Sounds like coach was arrested. What did you say? That's what Simon heard. George told the kids coach. Arrested for what? I don't know. Simon, that's crap. You're lying. That's what I said. Simon's hearing things. Mental illness runs in your family, right? Andrew. Gotcha. Hey, bud, call your mother. Maybe she knows. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. Excuse me. Gail, can you help me here? Yes, Mom. Hello. How are you? Listen, is Coach Surge in any kind of trouble? I just heard he was taken to the police station. Who said that? Right. When did this happen? No, I don't know anything about it. Okay, I heard you. No, go home. I'll figure it out, son. Mm-hmm. All right, bye. Gail, I need to leave. It's urgent. All right.
Captain, I just explained this to you. The child was bleeding out. This victim of yours refused to take her to the hospital. First, he's not our victim. Second, that car is his personal vehicle. And Mr. Mikheyev had no right to force that man to drive anywhere. Let me get this right. The man saved a child's life, and now he's being charged for it? What was your name again? Chloe Sazonov. Miss Sazonov, we don't just charge people. We have received a report from a Mr. Nikonenko, and we're obligated to take action. Listen, I told you the whole story, every minute detail of the event. He didn't just stop a random driver and throw him out of the car. What would you have done with a bleeding child in your arms? You know what? Let's do this. Just write down every single thing you told me. We will add it to the case, all right? And I'll try to speak with this Nikonenko, and maybe he'll retract his statement. And the case will be closed? Of course. No report, no case. Do you really think I'm interested in dealing with all this? Get writing. In the meantime, Sir just gonna stay in prison? Look, no one wants him here. Just right now, please. <laughs> Anthony, so what happened? Nothing. Nothing at all? You called your mom? Yeah, she has no idea either. So what now then? Um, wait a minute. Yeah, Grant. Hello? Yes, I'm done. He's drunk? But he has no money. All right, I'll be right there. Just please calm down. Okay, bye. Something wrong? Guys, I gotta go. Gregor, you hear anything? Let me know, all right? Sure thing. See you. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Let's hope everything will be fine with Serge. Yeah. Anyway, they promised to talk to him. That's good. So hopefully he'll retract his statement. Let's hope so. They also hinted that I might need to call to apologize to him. Are you going to? I don't see why not. The right thing to do is the right thing to do. In the law's eyes, I was wrong. Is there no law for his refusal to help? Can we not press charges on him for that? Oh yeah, then I share a cell with him. We can talk about the meaning of life. Making me laugh? Too soon? No, it's perfect, really. My father was like that. I guess your father has passed on? Unfortunately. And he loved telling jokes. And he was good at it. Was just as determined. But anyway, I'll see you later. See you later. Damn. Hello. Hi there. I was calling non-stop. You didn't pick up. Yeah, look, my phone was on silent. Why are you here? Anthony called. He said you were taken by the police. Now it's your turn. My turn? Why are you here? Well, we drove that girl to the hospital. We? Um, yeah, that lady I was talking to. She's the kid's coach. Well... And then an incident took place, so here we are. Grandma? Where is he? He's gone. Damn. I think he met his old friends and they poured him some drinks. What did he want from you? You already know money for seconds, and I refused. You did the right thing, Grandma. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have. Why would you give him more money? What do he, you mean by that? He took the television attached to your computer. You mean the monitor? The monitor. Damn it. Michael, I'm so sorry I couldn't stop you. It's him. all right. Michael. Okay. Has he been gone long? About 15 minutes. Right, I'll be right back. Michael, please be careful. Grandma. Don't worry, I'll be quick. Dad? Hey. Hello there, sweetie. Come in. Well, why are you here? I'm actually on a business trip. I popped into your dorm and uh, they told me that you live with the groom. Yeah, it just happened. Anthony's on his way. Would you like to have a cup of tea while we wait? No, listen. Why don't we go for a stroll? Something happened? No, nothing. Can't I spend some time with my daughter? All right. I'll get ready. <laughs> Excuse me, yes? miss. Sorry, but have you seen a drunk man around here? Around the corner. Thanks. 
What have you done, Dad? Dad, get up. Get up. Would you take a look at yourself? What are you doing? Dad, what's wrong with you? Answer me. I'm just resting. Resting? You're unbelievable. Why'd you get this, huh? Sorry, we might have dropped it. It was just an accident. Oh, you need to stop drinking. Yeah. Grandma, hello. Yeah, I found him. Could you please find out till what time the rehab clinic is gonna be open? We need to do something about him. All right, bye. Hello. Oh, Mr. Vadim. No, I'm George in disguise. <laughs> Good afternoon. I mean, is something wrong? What brings you here today? I was just walking by. Figured I'd pop in. I mean, what if my buddy's hiding money? <laughs> Mr. Kazan, sir. Easy, I'm just kidding. I need three tickets to the game. To the VIP box? Ideally. Who's it for? Obama, Merkel, and Jack Chirac. Oh, is this a secret? <laughs> oh, drop it, it's no secret. Two VIPs and I are attending. What do you care? Okay, three tickets. Here. Three tickets for the VIP box. There you go. But tell me, isn't our sponsor attending? Our sponsor? No, he won't be there. And why not? He's lost interest in the team. Listen closely, Tony, okay? While you're busy losing the games, our esteemed sponsor is in fact earning some money. For you losers, by the way, keep that in mind. So when will you start winning? We will, starting tomorrow. Starting tomorrow, huh? Keep telling yourself that. And who do you think you are? Saying it's all my fault. Three tickets. Minus three tickets. When she found out about Anthony, she really changed. She started snooping on my phone, checking my pockets. Mom? Who else, Olivia? There was one time I came home and caught her sniffing my blazer. That's insane. Not a single day has passed where we haven't argued. At times, twice, three times a day. You could explain. Have you tried talking? Of course. I told her that it happened a lifetime ago, and uh, there are only two women in my life, you and her. What did she say? She'd say nothing, then cry and apologize. The following day, the cycle simply repeats. Maybe I should speak to her. No, don't, Olivia. She'll think I complained to you. Even though... I really did. Dad, I... I really don't want you guys to fight. That makes the two of us. Tell me everything will be okay. It'll all be okay. It has to be. Why is it taking so long? Well, there were tests, Grandma. That takes time. Oh. Now we'll find out about the monitor. Hello? Yes, I called a while ago. How much is it? All right, then. I'll call you back in a bit. Thank you. Goodbye. What did they say? I found a good monitor. It's secondhand. How much is it? Just around 70. I have just enough. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh. All right, then. In a word, addiction. We can get him clean, but in order to do that, we need to cleanse his system. Okay, do what you have to do. No problem, we can do that. But we will need to admit him to begin the procedure. For how long? Mm, maybe about two weeks or so. But please be aware that this isn't covered by health insurance. How much will it cost? Oh, um, well, I can't give you an exact number. Somewhere around $90. <gasps> can we do the paperwork now? Why, yes, of course you can. You can go over to accounts for that. Accounting is on the ground floor by the exit. Thank you, doctor. You take care now. Goodbye. Come on, let's go. What about the monitor? Grandma, we can make do without a monitor. Let's <sighs> go. Aren't you bored yet? Of what? Of waiting online, as if you were at war. The boy isn't stupid. He made the right decision. What decision? The decision that nothing good will come of this. Mom, please don't start again. We spoke about this a million times. 
Well, maybe you'll listen at a million and one. Mom, please. Not even in a million more, do you understand? Then just wait. Your call. Don't forget I told you. Hello. Yes, Mr. Johnson. Yes, it's a good morning. Yes, that's right. I'm at the arena. And you? Ah, you're almost here. Good. Follow the path, and as they say, <laughs> all the roads here lead to hockey. Yeah, you can't miss it. Yeah, I'm right here. I'll be at the main entrance waiting for you. Yeah, sure thing. I'll be right here, huh? Good afternoon, Mr. Kazantsev. Oh, for the love of God, why aren't you by the lockers? Popped out to the cafe for a recharge. A recharge? Is that right? Yes. Well, I hope you're ready to score some goals. I'll try. Listen, sir, the military, they're here already? Yes, yes, they are. So go and get ready. Hello? No, I'm not coming in today. What do you mean, where? At the moon. You should have submitted the documents earlier, then. That's your problem. Yeah, you're welcome. You too. Idiots. Mr. Johnson? Good afternoon. Mr. Christensen? Mr. Kazansa. This way? Well, I assure you it'll be an exciting hockey game. It'll be really something. Hi there. Hello. Um, do you mind? Not at all. Besides, I'm almost done here. The suit looks good. <laughs> Thanks. But honestly, a suit looks good on any man. <laughs> You're wrong. You would know. I'm sorry. I just wanted to ask about that driver, Nikonenko, I think. You called him? I did. And? Nothing. He simply ranted for practically ten minutes, saying that he was late for his train. He wasn't happy. Mm, I do hope that he'll drop the charges. I doubt it. You need to do something. <clears throat> like what? Maybe, like, meet him in person. Yeah, perhaps. But in any case, definitely not today. Sorry, but I really need to go. Excuse me. <laughs> By the way, is the girl doing much better? Um, she's great. She's home. Her parents wanted to thank you personally. That's not necessary. I hope she's doing well. All right, I'm running late. Uh, good luck. Thanks. Andrew! What? You got the tablet on you? Yeah, why? Can I use it to check my emails? Our internet is busted. We're about to start warm-ups. I'll make it. Here. Thanks. Just thanks? Hey, you'll pay me back later when we get paid. Yeah, no problem. I'm just kidding. Guys, swarm of time. Also, go, 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 go! You okay with that? I said, are you done already? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, dear Lord, please forgive me. Coach. Hello, Basil. What news do you bring? None at all. Games in 30. Not about the game. Then about what? About that thing with the police. Now, Basil, I've only one thing on today. The match. Then just let me know, Coach. Is everything all right? It's under control. Good to know. 
Gather round. Listen carefully. No hogging the puck. Switch from defense to offense. Maximum two passes. Do you hear me? Even better to keep it at one. Andrew. Yeah? What's the plan? We break away and get open. That's exactly right. Astronauts, cashier said all the tickets are sold out. So let's give them their money's worth. Great, it's about time. You can say that again. Okay, Andrew, second lineup. Alex at first. Okay, that's it. Alex, Val. Huh? Come here a second. Guys, this is a very important game. I'd say that every game is important. Even better. So let's keep our personal issues off the ice. On the ice, we're a unit, guys. Val, do you agree? Yes, I do. Alex? No question about it. Let's seal that with a handshake. And tear this meteor to pieces. Let's do it. Way to go, boys. How we doing? Oh, we have a full house. Well, obviously, it's gonna be a good show. Hey, Val. Yeah? I need to talk to you. I need a favor to ask of you. Can you play around me today? Meaning? Don't act like a kid. Literally, I desperately need to score today. Oh, why is that? I'll explain later. What, trying to impress some new chick? Damn it, Val. I can't hide anything from you. Well, we've known each other for a while. Will you help? No problem, bro. Just make sure to be on point. Thanks. Okay, then. Enough hibernating bears. Time to get the honey. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Excuse me, could you point me to the fourth section? Oh, it's right there. Today, oh, thank you. to see the Bears and the Peters in a spectacular match. Please welcome the referees of today's match. The referee of the match is Michael Hannon. The linesmen are Andrew Petraco and Vincent Raul. Intercept right away, now! Hit him like a truck! Out of my say, man! My son's a legend! Andrew, number 24, second lineup. Andrew, there are others on the ice. I know. Then show it. Oh, George! Great job, Coach. Congratulations on the lead. Nice. It's still early. Let's not jinx it. Yeah, you are right. Listen, huh? Come here. Did you notice who Vadim's within the VIP box? No, who? Johnson and Christensen. Who are they? Seriously? KHL scouts. Oh. They only go where the meat is. Catch my drift? I think I do. Simon! Huh? What are you doing here? What? Get to the lockers. Okay. Every damn time I turn my back, he's always around. Get back in there! So what then? I'm more interested in this. Which player could they be scouting, huh? Good question. But I don't know. You're right. Oh, speak of the devil. Mr. Gazantsev, sir! Just hold on, not right now. Then when? Friday. <laughs> All right, then. Friday after lunch works fine. Ah, during lunch? Only had a restaurant then. See ya. What is it? Uh, Mr. Gazantsev, um... Please tell me, is someone scouting one of our boys right now? Hold on just a sec. Which boys? Oh, please, come on. What? Up in the VIP box, Johnson and Christensen. No way. Looking for someone? Ah, you mean that. Yeah, just relax, fellas. 
They're just scouting Meteor. Hello, one second. As for you, George, you should have become a sniper, you know? With eyesight like that, you're wasting your talent. Pretty impressive. Hello? Yes, hurry up and speak. I'm busy. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm imagining you with a sniper rifle. <laughs> Mr. Kazantsev. I imagined you both six feet under, and I liked it. It's all right, we're doing fine. Just a mistake, just play on. What did our guy do? Come on, you stupid referee. There we go. Just another day in a hockey game, folks. Aline, it's time to eat. A little later, Mom. It's gonna get cold. Oh, God, can you step away from the computer for a second? I'm reading. You're reading. Is there anything interesting? There is. Okay, then. Valentine, don't stall! Come on! Pass! Yeah, there he goes! Look at that. He's not so bad. Andrew Kislyak, number 24, at some point. Good afternoon. Mind if I have a seat? Hey there, Jane. Did Andrew score? Yep. Thank you, Val. All good, brother. You did everything right, just like you taught me. Well then, not bad, not bad. Cognac? Sure. Game will resume shortly in a few minutes. So they said KHL scouts? You sure about that? Yes, he called them by name. I just can't remember who's who. The other one was Johnson or Christensen. No way, what are they even doing here? They came for Simon. <laughs> Where else will they find a goalie with ears that size? <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop wasting time. No slacking off. 3-1 is not yet a win. Out on the ice. Coach, is it true that there are KHL scouts in the stands? It's true, so what? Did they come to check us out? Rest easy, they're not here for you. Then who? Came to check out pretty old me, got that? I said get on the ice! Simon! Yeah? I see you! Lasts. 
My son Simon's a very good goalie. He can't carry the team. Go, 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 go! Move, move, move! Go, Gregor! That's much better. Congrats on our first win. You too. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't do anything. Yeah, you too, Coach George. Yeah, thanks. Atta boys. Just look at you, Simon. You're a beast. Tread Yag, nice one. Good job. Congratulations, kid. Thanks. Patrick. To be honest, I didn't expect it myself. Yeah, you see what you can achieve when you really want it. Yeah. Listen, what do these military dudes have to say? Hold your horses. They'll come around. Congratulations. Okay, okay, okay. Go on in now. Mr. Mikheyev, what can I say? That was masterful. Thanks, Mr. Kazantsev. Well done, Andrew! You're up! Let's roll! Go, go, go! Don't mind me. This was well deserved. By the way, Andrew, that was very good. <laughs> thank you, coach. <laughs> no, thank you, Andrew. You see now? Hockey isn't just skill alone. It's about sheer determination. <laughs> Congratulations on your first three points. Thanks. Breakdowns tomorrow. We smash them because we are! We, we are, are the man! man! Yes. By the way, let's not have any celebratory drinks. Or the team might just fall apart real quick. I'll see you. Hey, Val. Yeah! 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 <laughs> hey, coach. Yeah! 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 A second of your time? What is it? Well, Valentine and I want to apologize. We were boneheads. We promise the drinking won't happen again. I'm going to hold you to that. Fellas, you are forwards, and the word bonehead shouldn't be in your vocabulary. We got it, coach. I'm glad. Once again, congratulations. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Julia. Walter? Hello. Hello. Why are you here? I'm here on a business trip. Decided to pop into the hockey match. It is the JHL. Well, yeah. You like the game? It was impressive. They say you got married. Yes, that's right. Congratulations. Uh, I mean it. Thank you, Walter. Okay, let's do it here. All right, come on. Right over here. All right, all right. Okay, guys, gather here. Move closer. Do what you want.
want, but the okay. caption on the pick will read, right. we won. The usual thing. Come on, guys. Okay. Victory's out! Simon, that was awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, Rita. You know, I almost lost my voice. Yeah, Andrew was the star today. You weren't exactly a bench warmer either. 20 saves, that's no small well, yeah. achievement. Just go that. Okay, Simon. We need to celebrate the first victory. Rita, we have a schedule. So tea is forbidden? No, tea is allowed. I wasn't even suggesting anything else. Right, let's get some cake and then after we can go to my dorm. To your dorm? Yes. My friends went home for the weekend. So the room is mine and mine alone. But, um... What? Will I be allowed in? There's security. Don't worry about it. We'll find a way. What an awesome day! <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Hey, Jane. Congrats. Thank you, Jane. So what took you so long? They took photos for the website. Alex is on his way now. Cool. So, Jane, when are you in court? Listen, Andrew, let's not talk about that, please. Yes, but... But what? Word of advice. Just be confident up there. Just state your side and that's that. You're innocent, you understand? Yes, I do. That's great. Oh, and here's Alex. See you, Jane. Bye. Hello. Hi there. Congrats. Thank you. One more thing, a piece of advice. I don't suggest that you disclose in court that you're dating. Why's that? Trust me, you aren't dating. She simply gave you a lift. Better that way. Hey, Andrew, I think we'll figure this out without you. Yeah, all right. Goodbye. Jane, what the hell was he babbling on about there? Don't you know what Andrew's like? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. That is literally breaking and entering. That's Article 139 of the Criminal Code. I'm surprised you know. Well, I actually didn't. You reminded me. I take it the military dude is in the kitchen or taking a bath? Blah, blah, blah. Cut it out, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fool. A joker. So what's new, huh? Actually, I popped in to congratulate you. Those were two great pucks, son. Oh, you were at the game. I was. Then you might have noticed three, not two. Well, the third Valentine could have netted himself. But I was the one that did. Into an empty net. That takes skill too, you know. Haven't you seen our soccer stars miss empty goals? Who cares about soccer players? This is for you. There. What is this? Money for six months. You can pay your rent. What are you talking about? I'm being drafted, remember? Not anymore. Say what? Anyway, I might regret this later, but the coach seems to believe in you. And so I will also try to. But then next week, you're going back to college. That's the condition. All right, bye. It's half past ten. Stop whining, woman. What did he tell you last night over the phone? That he will sleep at the dorm. Mm. And do you really think they went to bed at 9 p.m.? They probably partied till at least midnight. Celebrated the victory. <laughs> they probably drank. No, that's not Simon's thing. Then why isn't he calling? There's no church bell there. Got it? Very funny. Then laugh. He'll wake up and call you. Oh, nothing to worry about. Good morning. Morning. Not a good night? Mom, please have a seat. What for? Please, Mom, I asked you to sit down. Okay. I'm very intrigued. <sighs> so, um, yes, well, the thing is, I'm getting married. <clears throat> Young man. Are you in a hurry? Hello, Mr. Kazantsev. Hello, hello. I guess I should congratulate you. Everything's going your way. In a month, you'll be playing for a new club. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Andrew, isn't it better than bunking up with some fleas in the barracks? Yeah, am I right, huh? Mr. Kazantsev. Yeah. The thing is that... What? Well, I no longer need that. What? Wait a minute. What did you just say? I said that... 
It is a non-issue now. I can continue playing here. <laughs> Why don't you hop in with me? Sir, I'm in a rush. That's okay. I'll give you a lift. Come on now. Get in. <laughs> 